The junior from Washington, D.C., number zero, Thomas. Over tap it back to Taylor to get things started. Jamie Lucky, Tom Eads, and Patrick Adams draw the assignment to officiate this game. Now low they go to Robinson. No double team on that particular catch. Thomas trying to defend them. Off mentioned we want to get the ball to the second or third That's side. Right. That's one of his pet phrases, yeah. isn't it? And the reason is it gives Robinson a chance to get position down low. I don't like that shot for Taylor. Robinson missing the short putback as Taylor trying to get off the snide with an early three. Again, the work of the Sollinger. Robinson to come in and reach and commit the foul. He's with he had him in good position. But there was contact both ways, Jim, and a good job by the officials to play on. Robinson, too strong with the left hand, and Buford able to snag it for the Buckeyes. Excellent. Here is Buford. Excellent execution, though, for Kansas. Getting that ball swung with it. It's Lenzel Smith, Jr. Thomas, back of the rim for the second time. Kansas has hit one of its first seven shots. The opening jumper by Robinson, who has it at the top of the key. That's a two. Try to force it, use the dribble to draw defenders and get Kraft an open jump shot there. Kraft, a selective three-point shooter. He was just two for eight in the tournament to this point. So he'll look for them in the half court. And in the sweet spot of the low post. Kraft down to Selinger, perfect pass, bounced in there for the assist, and Selinger has two more. You know, Ohio State has been the much more impressive team in the tournament offensively, and I think you see that rhythm and that pace that they've been playing with. Kansas, other than the Carolina game, has really struggled to score the ball. That one circled 24% from the three-point line in the tournament so far for Kansas. Well, that was a big one by Relaford, the three. Sure was. They're going to need a few surprise threes from wing players tonight. Thomas now 0 for 4 to begin. Smith sits. They bring out Scott. Freshman Shannon Scott gives it back to Buford. Velford was ready to reach in and come up with another steal. Something he does on a regular basis. Fade away, Sellinger. And it's for Oklahoma State. Under Eddie Sutton, who of course would go on to coach Kentucky. Here is uh, Sam Thompson on the floor, number 12. We haven't actually seen, I had Scott on the floor earlier. It's Thompson out here first off the bench. It's Sellinger, two for 11 from the three-point line. We already saw him knock down a three. And there's a nice drive to the hoop. Well, Kansas has to get the offense from somewhere. Robinson had a couple of good looks early that didn't go down. And the Buckeyes trying to attack you know, with the, so, If you're so you though, you don't want to settle for a fit. And maybe get yourself to the free throw line. Here's Robinson. Way off on the short shot. If you've watched this team an awful lot, is he the X factor with for Ohio State? Because he hasn't played to the level he's capable of, except on a few occasions this season. This time, Thomas at different times. Thomas had been doing it all at the offensive end, 22 points a game coming into tonight's game. But Lindell Smith has stepped up. So has Kraft and Sullinger. So they found ways to get points from other people. There is Thomas. Area to create shots. They really have struggled in the tournament. Thomas, this is a two. Tap, Sullinger. Tap again. Steve, I go back to what you said a few minutes ago that Thomas Robinson is going to have to become extremely dominant inside in this game. You know, we got to mention, too, that Ohio State is an excellent defensive team. They're rotating well. Guys are moving on the pass. And they're really trying to get in the 
chest and face of Thomas Rock. He catches the ball, making things very difficult for him. Second foul. Kansas. I'm sorry, Jim. You have second foul on Thompson. Need to make note of that as Robinson scores off in a big time option in terms of when you need a basket if you want to go inside with it. Seven points, four rebounds for Jared. And look at Thompson. Now battle the Jayhawks and come away with it with 148 to play in the half. Thompson, a very active live body for the Buckeyes. Doesn't produce a lot of points, but gives them good activity. There is Thompson. And the Kraft family salutes the Buckeyes. That last one right there, you can see the kind of problems he can cause for the Jayhawks. Nice turn for Kansas just to get some easy baskets so that they can get that, that loose play that he's talking about. Well, there's an easy basket. Taylor feeds it. Robinson. And Thomas with the three rattles out, and it's with the snapping out the outlet to Taylor. Over to Rutherford, driving on Buford. And a sloppy pass, but who did the touch last? It's going back to Kansas. Rutherford out of control here. And fortunate that this ball goes off the foot of the show. Buford, who will get his degree in May, graduating in African American Studies. And a huge part of that first half with those perimeter jump shots really softening up the Kansas defense. Well, he was perfect in that first half, Steve. Robinson, he's not a great passer down there. I think you can send double-team help and really confuse him with the rotations defensively, and that's exactly what happened on that one. Sellinger, and then somehow in the arms of Thomas. Sellinger, back to the man, and what a block by Whitney. His best play of the night. His second block, and here comes Johnson driving in for two. Hawks are trying to crawl back into this one. Sellinger trying again, and he's blocked again. With the trying to stay there, denies again. Behind the back save to Kraft, to Thomas, and a charge on Thomas. That's his third. Possession look disjointed from the start. There you see the tail end of it. The Sean Thomas clearly. <laughs> Ravenel defending. Robinson tapped up with it. Rutherford. Well, the Jayhawks starting to come alive in the areas that Bill Self talked about at halftime. Getting the 50-50 balls. Rutherford. The three-point shooting. Can somebody on Ohio State knock down a perimeter shot here to stem the tie? Going back to the first half. They've gone five and a half minutes without a basket. Ravenel gets it back to Kraft. Inside Sellinger. Flip shot short. Ohio State really misses the presence of Deshaun Thomas as a guy who's a perimeter shooter. Ravenel is a role player. Oh! And Robinson makes it a three-point. Jayhawks have gotten back into it. Here's a little virtual madness. We're going to highlight Thomas Robinson doing a nice job. Rim running, we call it. Running to the front of the rim. When the ball is reversed, he seals his defender, Deshaun Thomas. They do offensively is predicated on him being able to space the floor and bring these Kansas big men away from the hoop. Right now, they're just camped in the lane. He's been down for three minutes with the three fouls. Robinson shot. A foul, and you're Deshaun Thomas checking in. Thad Mott ascension. He's got to get his leading score in the tournament back on the floor because the Buckeyes are clearly now out of rhythm. They're pressing, they're not executing offensively, they're taking quick shots, and you can sense a little frustration starting to seep in here. Kansas can take the lead on this trip. Last led at two to nothing, 25 seconds in. 
Robinson, pass, deflected by Williams, chased down by the Buckeyes. The man right there, Thomas Robinson. Kansas dominating points in the paint thus far, and they're trying to go to him now. No double team. With a double team here. And Robinson. He's got to go over to hit the open jump. Hands of Taylor. Dehan. Gets it down low. Robinson is hacked. Got to look for an advantage somehow to score because Sullinger's not giving them one. Well, Thomas has been down since the 11.30 mark when he picked up his fourth. Tehan. lead. Thomas. Well, Thomas right. With points so difficult to come by right now. Everybody went to the offensive glass for Kansas. Robinson draws the foul. Hit him all night. Lead is back to six. And showing his stuff. Not shy. It doesn't matter that he's three, three for 11. He's still, he still thinks he's hot. He's always confident. <laughs> and he's another guy you have to concern yourself with if you're Kansas when he's on the floor. Crap. Well defended by the Jayhawks. Taylor, no. Rebound, Sullinger. Foul on Ohio State. I'm not sure who it I think, was. I think they got Sullinger for clearing out on the rebound. Foul call here. It's they call it on Buford 44. He must have nudged Thomas Robinson. He's on the glass and defensively. Ohio State has shown in its in the tournament the ability to execute late and make big plays, and they typically try to play through Sullinger here. Good reestablishment of the post position. Little hook shot, no. And tapped out to Elijah Johnson. Robinson blocked by Sullinger. Excellent defense by Jared Sullinger. He broke contact just enough to be free himself to block that shot. And Thomas. Minutes and scoring now the last seven points. Had trailed by 13 on five occasions, and Thomas has to be you at least have to attempt to throw it inside. Ohio State led by six with five minutes to play. That pass a little too forced. Robinson has it. Kraft reaches in. And they're still without committing a foul, he saved the breakaway basket. Take a look at Aaron Kraft. Zeroing in on that ball, and he wow. raked it away cleanly. No foul. He just dug in there. Need to attack quickly. It doesn't have to be a three-point shot. Here is Thomas. Thomas for the tie. The shot, no. And it's off the foot of Withy, who tries to save it. Back to Ohio State. Thomas again. Put back by Buford with Thomas Robinson, unanimous first-team AP All-America. The first since Blake Griffin to be unanimous. Well, we said he.